You may never have heard of Ruth Rogan Benarito, but her imprint is woven into the fabric of our daily lives. A pioneer in the textile industry, she helped raise our understanding of the chemistry of cotton. Her work led to the development of wash and wear fabrics and likely saved the American cotton industry from an onslaught of foreign competition and artificial fibers. Born in New Orleans in 1916, Ruth Rogan was first encouraged in her love of science by her parents. My mother was trained to be an artist and she would let us do whatever we wanted to do. You know, she never did tell us you have to be this or you have to do that. My father was the one that believed in education. He said the only thing we would get would be a good education and nobody could take that away from you. The young Rogan graduated high school at the age of 14 and one year later entered Newcomb College, the women's college of Tulane University. When I went to Newcomb College, and this was in the 30s, we didn't have the women's movement or now or any of those things going on at the time. And a good friend of mine and I were the only two that were allowed to go to Tulane campus to study physical chemistry. Upon earning her degree, Rogan had a difficult time finding work. America, after all, was still gripped by the Great Depression. During the Depression years, women didn't work much. They, but if you did work, but the, the profession to be in was to be the teacher. She eventually did find work at a school in Jefferson Parish near New Orleans, where she taught science, math, and driving safety. There was just one catch. I was the first safety driving teacher in the state of Louisiana, but I didn't know how to drive. One time I even went forward into the ditch. Had it not been for World War II, Ruth Rogan might never have had the chance to excel. But because so many scientists were consumed with the war effort, Rogan did find opportunities. After receiving her PhD from the University of Chicago in 1948, she married Frank Benny Benarito, and shortly after, began a prolific career at the Southern Regional Research Center of the U.S. Department of Agriculture. That was during the Korean War, and they wanted some emulsion that you could give in addition to glucose that would help the, the people that were wounded. Her focus soon turned to cotton and the problems facing the U.S. textile industry. During the war years, nylon became popular. They used it mostly for parachutes, and we had synthetics, the various synthetics, Dacron and so forth. So the, the, the cotton industry was suffering because everybody was going into synthetics. Benarito's group discovered that by cross-linking the molecular strands of cotton, the fabric could be reinforced. It was this breakthrough that led to the development of what's known today as easy care or wash and wear clothing. So if you want to make it permanently pressed or easy care, you sort of like your woman goes and gets a hair permanent wave. You have to take these long chains and you have to cross link them. Her discovery led to patented processes for manufacturing wrinkle, stain and flame resistant cotton and had a great impact not just on textiles but also on wood. Throughout her career, Benarito took great satisfaction from her teaching, both at Tulane and most recently at the University of New Orleans, where she taught until age 81. Different people have different talents. You might be good with your hands, somebody might be good with the abstract thinking. So I think you have to be able to, to get each person to use his talents to the best of his ability. It is that kind of commitment and passion for scientific discovery that makes Ruth Rogan Benarito the recipient of the 2002 Limelson MIT Lifetime Achievement Award. Mm -hmm.